I'm Jim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how to cut feedback in GarageBand. Now you might be wondering, what causes feedback? Well, for this demonstration, we're going to use this Blue Yeti mic. And it occurs when you have the monitor on in GarageBand, which allows your voice to pass through here and end up in the speakers in your computer, typical in a recording setup. This feedback occurs because the gain is adjusted too high and the monitor is too close for the pickup on the mic. Here's where it is in GarageBand. In GarageBand, you've got a setup like this. Here, I've got a simple mic set up here right now. And you can see a little bit of green here, which indicates that the mic is receiving volume. Now, if I turn on this button here, this will turn the monitor on. And as, and as you, you can, can hear, hear you'll, you'll hear, hear the, the echo of it, of it going, going through, through the computer. The computer. Now, now, on the mic itself, if you adjust the gain too high when it's in too close a proximity to the computer, like so, you'll create a very strange feedback motion, which GarageBand will recognize and stop. As you can see, GarageBand comes up with this pop-up that tells you that it's detected feedback. And not only that, it provides exact data on what to do. I recommend, at least for this demonstration, we turn the monitor off as it suggests right here. Now you'll notice that the monitor button that you turned on previously is off. And you can resume recording but you won't hear through the computer what's being recorded. And there you have it. That's how you can cut feedback from GarageBand. Now, this same logic applies when you're recording with a guitar or amp as well. Thanks for watching.